All right, guys, today we're going to read Biblio Borough by Jeanette Winter, a true story from Colombia. Deep in the jungles of Colombia, there lives a man who loves books. His name is Luis. As soon as he reads one book, he brings home another. Soon the house is filled with books. His wife, Diana, grumbles. Diana says, what are we going to do? Eat books with our rice? Luis thinks long and hard. At last, an idea pops into his head. He says, I can bring my books into the faraway hills to share with those who have none. One burrow could carry books, and another burrow could carry me and more books. Luis buys two sturdy little burrows. He names them Alpha and Beto. He builds crates to hang on their backs and paint signs. Biblio Burrow, they say, the Burrow Library. Then Diana fills the crates with books. Every week, Luis and Alpha and Beto set off across the countryside to faraway villages in the lonely hills. This week, they travel to El Tormento. When the sun burns high in the sky, Luis and the burros stop at a stream to drink the cool water. After they have their fill, Beto balks. Luis pulls and pulls on Beto's reins, but Beto won't budge. The children are waiting for us, Luis says. At last, the burro gives in and steps across the stream. Deep in the hills, the path is lonelier than ever. Bird songs are the only sounds they hear. Then, from deep in the shadows, a bandit leaps out. Please let us pass, Luis says. The children are waiting. The bandit scowls at the books, but he takes one and growls. Next time, I want silver. The Biblio Burrow continues on its way, over the hills, until at last Luis sees houses below. The children of El Tormento run to meet him. Luis insists on reading a story before they choose books to borrow. Today I have a surprise for you, he says. He reaches behind the books and pulls out a bundle of masks. They're little piglets. Put on a mask and I'll read you a tale about pigs, Luis says. Once the masks are on the children, Luis begins to tell a tale of three little pigs and a big, bad wolf. When the story ends, it's time for everyone to choose a book. The children hold their books close as they say goodbye and walk home. Luis and Alpha and Beto head back over and around the hills, across the grasslands and streams, and into the sunset. At home, Luis feeds his hungry burros, and Diana feeds her hungry husband. But then, instead of sleeping, Luis picks up his book and reads deep into the night. And far away in the hills, candles and lanterns burn as the children read borrowed books deep into their night, too. I hope you enjoyed the story of Luis Alpha and Beto. If you noticed, we called Alpha and Beto burros. Burros are donkeys. Luis, the character in the book, is based off a real man named Luis Soriano, who lives in La Gloria in northern Colombia. Colombia is a country in South America. As a school teacher, Luis wanted to share his books with children and adults that he knew did not have any, and did not have access to them. In the year 2000, Luis started with 70 books. He now helps circulate more than 4,000 books every weekend to villages in northern Colombia.